we can also design a clipper circuit using zener diode instead of normal diode you can see we are using zener diode in place of normal diode vz is the zener potential and we are measuring the output voltage across the zener diode i will calculate the output voltage for the first half cycle from 0 to t by 2 but first i will revise the equivalent models for zener diode when zener diode is forward biased it is treated like any other diode when zener diode is forward biased the equivalent model is similar to the normal diode when zener diode is forward biased the equivalent model is similar to the normal diode like this plus minus 0 0.7 volts for silicon zener diode and i am considering the constant voltage drop model the main thing is operation of zener diode in reverse bias condition in reverse bias condition zener diode works as voltage regulator in reverse bias condition when the reverse bias voltage is greater than the zener voltage when reverse bias voltage let's say v reverse bias is less than zener voltage then the zener diode is open circuited and when reverse bias voltage is greater than the zener voltage the zener diode is replaced by a constant voltage source plus minus having the voltage equal to vz by using this we have to plot the output waveform for the first half cycle the input voltage vi is positive so plus minus will be the polarity of vi direction of current is clockwise and you can see direction of arrow is not matching with the direction of current so zener diode is reverse biased and when vi vi is smaller than vz the output voltage the output voltage is simply equal to vi this resistance here is very small so drop across this resistance is also very small and we can consider voltage across the zener diode is equal to vi and when vi which means the reverse bias potential across the diode is smaller than the zener potential the diode will be replaced the diode will be replaced with an open circuit and you can clearly see the output voltage vo is equal to vi in this case so i will have a plot like this when input voltage is smaller than the zener voltage now we will consider the next case when vi is greater than vz in this scenario the zener diode will be replaced by a constant voltage source with potential difference equal to vz and you can see output voltage is equal to vz in this case output voltage is equal to vz so we have a constant voltage throughout this time interval when vi is greater than vz and it is equal to vz now i will analyze this circuit for the next half cycle from t by 2 to t and you can see input voltage is negative so the polarity will change minus plus and also the direction of current the direction of current is now anti-clockwise and it is similar to the direction of arrow in the zener diode symbol the barrier potential of zener diode is equal to 0 0.7 volts when the input voltage is smaller than 0 0.7 volts the diode will remain off and vo is equal to vi and when input voltage is greater than 0 0.7 volts the diode will be replaced by the barrier potential here we have 0 0.7 volts 0 0.7 volts and the output voltage is equal to 0 0.7 volts let's try to plot it this is 0 0.7 volts when vi is smaller than 0 0.7 volts output voltage is similar to the input voltage so we have this waveform and when vi is greater than 0 0.7 volts when vi is greater than 0 0.7 volts the output voltage is equal to 0 0.7 volts so this is the output waveform in this problem and i hope it is clear to you if i compare zener diode clipping circuits with normal diode clipping circuits everything is same except the equivalent models in case of zener diode when there is forward bias condition the zener diode is replaced by the barrier potential and in case of reverse bias condition there are two cases 
In first case, reverse bias potential is smaller than the Zener potential. The diode is replaced by the open circuit and when reverse bias potential is greater than the Zener potential, the Zener diode is replaced by Vz, a constant voltage source.